So the first shape I'm going to model uh, is this shape. It's a box with a hole like this. So first of all, I will add a cube and duplicate this cube. I will subdivide this cube one time and apply. Now I will use boolean to cut uh, this circular area into the box. I will select the cube, add a modify boolean, select this circular object and if I hide uh, this circular you can see that we have cut a circular area in this cube. I will apply this boolean, go to the edit mode and I, I will join the points. I will uh, on this auto merge from here. I will select the vertex and press G two times and slide it towards the point to merge. Now I will add edge looms by pressing Ctrl R. Join these points by selecting and press G. I will add a control loop, a uh, control edge loop here. And if I press E, you can see that it has uh, the edge loop has a more shape like that one. Where is the red dot? And I will press F to flip, and red dot appears here. Uh, and it has a uh, more sh uh, edge loop has a more shape like that one. So I will place it there. Similarly, I will place an edge loop also here. Press E and place it here. Place an edge loop here. Press Ctrl B to bevel and slide. Now I also want to tie this area. I will have to place an edge loop here and here. Also here and here. So for this, I will select the whole mesh by pressing A. I will select the bisect tool and place it here. Now I will merge these points by selecting these points. Press M and merge at center and align it. Now select these edges press X and dissolve edges so we have tightened the space and if we apply subdivision surface so we get this shape as you can see that the hole is a uh, circular from the inside it's not flat we want flat a uh, hole inside you can uh, just simply do select these faces right click loop to and circle press s to scale down again press i press e again press i can add a control loop here press control b so you can see it's a flat and it's a circular from the inside. Now our second shape is something like this. It has flat circular shape on all the sides and a curved surface on the corners. You can see that it's a little curved. First of all, we will add a cube, apply subdivision surface, 
about a value of 2 and apply uh, so I have this uh, curved surface like this now I have to flat the front portion or uh, all the sides for this I will add a cube press S and scale it down until not too much inside like the this thing is disappearing not too much outside like these things are too close just a normal I think here it is okay now I will add a boolean modifier select this sphere and press intersection and I will hide this so we get a shape like this I will apply the boolean modifier go to the edit mode I can see that the this portion is repeating itself like this portion is repeating itself on x-axis y-axis and z-axis so I will delete these vertices now I will as you can see that it has five corners I will merge these two by pressing M merge at center here we have to first dissolve vertices select these two vertices press M merge at center now I will select these edges press F select this edge and subdivide select this vertex and place it here I will select this edge by pressing alt and right click press S Y 0 select this edge press S Z 0 select this edge press S X 0 now I will select these faces press I and B ok now I will select knife tool and place an edge loop here now I will merge these two points now I will use mirror modifier x y and z axis uh, turn on the clipping select this edge loop and place it down here now I will add subdivision surface shield smooth and here we get this shape the third shape is uh, this I will add a cylinder with something like you can see that 12 sides and press R X 90 S Y scale it along Y axis go to the edit mode select face mode and delete these faces press E then S press E S again E along Y axis I will select these faces press E S Z 0 I will add control loops add subdivision surface
I want to uh, sharpen this area. So I will add an edge loop here, but we get this uh, shading effect. I have sharpened this side, uh, but we have a problem here too. And if I use this as a supporting loop, uh, if I slide this here, but the shape of the cylinder will not be cylindrical and it is something like this. So in both cases we have problems. To solve this problem we have to increase the number of vertices of the cylinder or you can say that we have to increase the geometry of this mesh. Let's try this. I will add a cylinder with 32 vertices. Press Rx 97. Now if we apply subdivision surface you can see that this side is sharper and we have no pinching effect and I can also use this uh, sporting loop to tighten this space by pressing double G and slide a little bit. So here we have solved the problem and get our desired shape. Our next shape is something like this. We have a cylindrical shape with a little bit design on it. So let's start. Okay, let's add a play. For this shape, I am going to use a plane and have this pattern on this plane and repeat this plane and bend it 360 degrees so we can have a cylinder. I will go to the edit mode. I will press Ctrl R, add an edge loop here and here press Ctrl B. I will select these three vertices, press S, Y and move a little bit like that. Now I will select these faces, press I. Uh, if you have something like this, uh, press B so we can have this shape and press SX a little bit. Again press I, press E and move a little bit downward. Okay, for these lines want to have straight like this. Select these edges, press X and dissolve edges. Okay, I'm going to straight this by pressing S, S, Y, 0. Similarly for the disk here, S, Y, 0. I'm also going to straight this line by pressing SX0. Okay, apply subdivision surface modifier just to see that we have this shape. Okay, I just want to have an edge loop here, like here and here. Press Ctrl B. And enough. Okay, so we have the uh, tighten this space corners. Now I will add an array modifier. We want six or eight sides on the cylinder having this pattern. So I will enter six, and I will. Um, Turn on the merge. It will be in the points will be merged together. Now I want to bend this hole by 360 degree. Uh, 
so i will add a simple deform modifier and select bend so i also have to add an empty plane axis here and give uh, origin this empty now i have to rotate this if i turn on the rotate i want to rotate this plane along y axis so i will select y here and on the plane i will uh, rotate the y axis by 90 degree so we can have this effect now going back to the plane and enter 360 okay but these points are not merging uh, also i have turned on this first and last last copies to merge these points i will add a modifier called weld and place it above subdivision surface and just increase the distance so here we have merge all the vertices now i will select both the plane and the empty axis press r rx90 and move it a little bit in the center okay so here we have this shape and we have no pinching we will add a lattice scale it um, until it f the this mesh is fits in this lattice box select the plane add modifier lattice and select this lattice now select lattice object go to the properties and increase the u and v go to the edit mode and select these points press s shift z and you can give it a shape you like Uh, we as you can see that we do not have a circular shape on the top and the bottom as well it's little like an oval shape so we will select interpolation as linear and where we get this circular shape so here we get our desired shape i hope you like this video and you uh, learn learn something from this video so like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.